Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're already a subscriber. If you are not, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Come on, come join me. You're already watching the video. You might as well, right? 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 I know my hair looks crazy. I need to wash it, but we're beyond that. As you can tell from the title of today's video, I am going to be giving you my September perfume collection. I have been expanding my perfume collection and, you know, I'm trying to get a little variety, very much getting to grown woman scents. So let's get right into it. First up on the list, she is woody. She is earthy. She is not a girl for everybody. This is Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. It's very, the best way I can describe it is like, you know, one of those really, really clean, like mature women. That's what it smells like. And it's a fall scent to me. I do not wear this much in the summer. I like kind of steer away from it during the summer, but it, I enjoy the scent and I know it's, it's not for everybody. I do not recommend this for everyone, but if you smell it and you enjoy it, it's so. Next up on the list, I have my Valentino Donna Born in Rome. Now, Miss Girl is a floral scent, but she is a deep floral. Um, also, I would like to say I don't recommend blind buying perfumes. That's just the me thing. So I do recommend going to smell this, but it is a floral. It's a deep floral. So I do like her for fall or nighttime. So I'm going to be leaning more on her um, as we get into like the colder weather. I still live in Atlanta, so it's still like 80, 90 degrees during the day. But I really like her now that it's cooling out. I didn't know how I felt about it. And I've had this perfume for like a year or something. But she's giving me winter. She's giving me fall. She's giving, yeah, she's giving me like cool nights. Next up on the list, we have another floral. Um, I clearly like sweet, fruity floral scents. But this is the YSL Mon Petit. She does come with a bow. I don't know where the bow is to this. I've had this perfume for like a year and a half now. She's gotten some good use. Um, she's more of a summer scent to me. And if y'all don't know, I don't think I said this. I cocktail perfumes. This is a perfume that like I refuse to wear on its own anymore for some reason. I just don't care for it on its own. But if I cocktail it with something sweeter to bring out the sweeter notes to that front, love it but on its own it's just a little maybe it's like the floral that i don't really care for anymore i'm not sure um but it's very sweet very floral i like the sweet side of it more and mixed with something else sweet it just it does it for me it's very daytime appropriate she has a trail to her you do not need a lot of this you do not need to reapply it like i put this on once and go for the whole day she does have a great wear time and she's beautiful so switching gears to something fresh and it's the only fresh perfume that i actually own this is the replica um by mason margella i can read y'all i promise <laughs> this is the replica perfume by mason margella and this is beach walk i have rebought this mini bottle because I never wear this perfume at home. I do not care for fresh, it's not I don't care for fresh scents, I just don't reach for them a lot. But on vacation, I love this perfume. So I've rebought it in this particular bottle so I can always travel with it and like keep it in a purse, keep it in a travel bag, something. That's why I keep buying it in this particular bottle, but I bought it over and over again for different vacations. It is very, it, it literally smells like sand, sunscreen, and I know like, you're probably like, what? But it smells like vacation. <laughs> so I always take this on like tropical vacations. It's just very much a vacation scent to me. Um, so that's what I use it for. But she is fresh. She is very clean. It smells like summertime, like day or night on vacation. I just, I reach for this one a lot, like a lot, a lot. Next up, we have another floral. This is the Victor and Roth Bon Bon Pastel. This was actually an impulse buy and I bought it the same time I bought the uh, Good Girl Supreme. But I like this one so much more. I love this. I've had this for a couple months. She's like halfway gone. This is the 1.7 ounce and she is floral but you definitely smell like the orange i think it's orange and bergamot but i definitely smell the orange this is a daytime summer like 
outdoor activity with the family is not too offensive. She has a great wear time. She trails well. Like, it just smells like family outing. Like, I, I love, 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 love this scent. <laughs> and I've been wearing it a lot. I wear it by itself. I'll cocktail it. I basically cocktail everything. Um, pretty much everything. But... She's a really good summer scent. I probably won't get as much wear out of her as it cools down, but I'm going to wear her until the last day of summer. Like, I love this scent. Next up is another floral. This is the Ariana Grande REM. Um, this was a more recent buy and it was kind of an accidental purchase. She's floral. I really, really like this scent. And it smells like something that like I feel like I smelled growing up. Like. It feels like it's an attached attached to a memory that I don't remember, but it just smells very familiar. But it's floral, it is sweet, she's lovely. Once I finish like this little bottle, cause this one, because it was an impulse buy, I bought the small bottle, but I know that I wanna get the big girl version of this one too. So this is the Ariana Grande REM. Now, I do have some more of these Ariana Grande scents. <laughs> This is the Ariana Grande Thank You Next, and this one is a Gourmand. This one, I put this with other stuff. I don't usually wear it by itself. I don't dislike it. <laughs> don't think I dislike it, but it's a deeper sweet scent, and there's a piece of me that almost feels like it smells like baked goods on my skin, and I kind of, there. I kind of don't care for baked goods like just a teeny tiny bit I don't smell I don't care to smell like baked goods like I like to be fresh like fruity and floral but like I don't know I don't know it's something about it that like I just don't put by itself so I always cocktail this one but I do like the scent it's very sweet and I think I'll still be able to transition this one into the fall with mixing it with something a little bit deeper probably my um Donna Board in Rome That'll probably be the one that I mix this one with a lot, but she is sweet. She's a gourmand, and it does come with a little another piece to this that I don't use. Um, I threw away the little plastic part because it wasn't aesthetically pleasing to me. But on the other hand, another one that came with a little sorry, my camera cut off back to the Ariana Grande cloud. So she's very sweet, very cashmere, very universally good, and I literally cocktail this with everything i use this as a mixer for all of my perfumes she is so beautiful the only thing about this is that it does not have a great wear time it's on the cheaper side it's under a hundred dollars so i don't mind as much like reapplying it but it smells so good it just you can smell the cashmere base is very creamy she's very sweet it just daytime nighttime it is a very very universally good smelling scent and if nothing else out of my collection i would like i would recommend this to everybody she's not my favorite but if anyone asks me for a perfume recommendation this would be the one that i would give for sure next up my joe malone fragrances these are actually the babies of the group so this is the joe malone red roses cologne it is a very true rose scent so floral of course i use this as a mixer um like i said it just smells like roses i enjoy the smell of roses i wanted it um because i did want something true rose scent it was between this and the uh louis vuitton um rose scent and i just ended up picking up this one and i'm very happy with the purchase if you don't like roses you're not gonna like this one and that's okay it's not for everyone my other one is Scarlet Poppy. I've heard mixed reviews about this, but I smelled it before I had read any reviews on it. She does have some staying power to her. This is a floral amber scent. So she is also floral, but it's very sweet. Um, looking at the notes of this one, because like I said, she is on the newer side. Vanilla, powdery, floral, sweet, iris, amber, musky, aromatic, almond, and fruity. And vanilla is a top note on this, and I usually do not go for vanilla, and it's not, it's not giving you cookie vanilla, which I kind of hate. Um, but it's more so sweet and seductive. It smells like 
I'm going to a PTA meeting or I'm going to go cheer on like Baby Nugget. If you know who Baby Nugget is, comment it down below. <laughs> I'm gonna go peer cheer on like Nugget at like a football game in like the fall. Like that's what it smells like. It smells like an adult woman who has her shit together. Like that's the most accurate scent description I can give for me as far as the scent story goes but I really like it I've been wearing it I've been wearing it to school and like I enjoy it okay okay this is editing me coming back to add this perfume because I completely forgot it because I hate this perfume but this is the Carolina Herrera good girl supreme I never reached for this perfume it was not a blind buy like I smelled it I wore it I, I picked it and I picked this one because I didn't like the original good girl and I was like oh maybe I like this one more I never reach for this perfume all my perfumes sit on my top shelf because I reach for them wear them every single day whatever I put this on the third shelf as decoration like you're not even gonna see it in a thumbnail because it's not even in a place that I can photograph because I do not wear this perfume I do not reach for it it is it is floral and creamy and like it has more like fruity notes in the background than the original I just don't care for it I don't I don't I know some people love it I know some people love the um, original version of this I've smelled the good girl very sexy the one in the red bottle and I'm kind of debating on getting that one <laughs> but this one kind of has like deterred me from wanting anything else from this like perfume house so I don't know I don't know I don't know why I don't like it it smells like I don't know I don't know I just don't like it I never wear it I've cocktailed it with different things and I genuinely never reach for it so I was like I put it down here because it's cute but um I'm gonna keep it because like I said it is part of decoration on this sh shelving situation but I don't wear it I think I've worn this perfume about three or four times and I bought this perfume at the same time that I bought the Victor and Roth bonbon bon pastel I bought them the same day same place at Ulta I don't like this this is the one ounce maybe um don't care for it like I said it's a pretty bottle least favorite perfume next up we have probably my favorite in the bunch and she's another floral but this is the Chanel Chance on um this is the Ida Toilette um I've had the Parfum I've had the Toilette they do pretty much the same thing the only reason i have the toilet right now is because my boyfriend bought the replacement because this is like this was like our first date perfume and whenever i'm out of it like he buys it or i buy it like i've just had this perfume over and over again since i was like 19 years old it was probably like one of my first big girl perfumes I love her. She brings back great memories. She has a really good wear time, a really good longevity to her. You don't need a lot of this one either. It does a great job. Um, daytime or nighttime, depending on how I mix it, I will mix it. I will wear this one alone. I love this perfume. And like I said, it's just attached to happy memories for us specifically. Um, so <laughs> this is always in the collection. She is always here. She is like she is very very well loved so last but not least on the list is my favorite she is the piece de la resistance i love this perfume day night like it's probably also my boyfriend's favorite perfume now since i've started wearing it like since i bought it like every time i wear it like that man is here okay he's always there but like He'll ask me very specifically what I'm wearing when I have this one on. I will wear it on its own. I will wear a cocktail with other stuff. And it is my Killian Princess. I love this scent so much. Now, she is warm and spicy, but she is so sweet, so beautiful. Marshmallow green tea, like, is such a decadent smell. Like, it's, like, <laughs> in the bottle it smells good, but on your skin, like once it warms up to your skin it smells so good so sweet so beautiful it sits so well it wears all day it doesn't have an offensive trail but you still smell it like you walk past someone and smell them with this on and you're just like like i'm telling you it i love this scent and a, a lot of other perfume enthusiasts love this scent too 
like I have a purse version of this one I have this big one um she's a little harder to get my hands on for some reason like anytime I find like I rarely see the bottles in stock I got this one by accident this is not even the size that I wanted I actually want to get the bigger version of this because I want a million of these like I want to bathe in this scent this is the Killian Princess it is just oh it's such a lovely scent I've had this scent for less than a year and is so nice oh my goodness it's so nice i just i really do genuinely love this scent and i probably wear it like three times a week like on its own or mixed with something like i will wear it to school day night i don't care i love this scent like if you ask me what my favorite perfume is this this perfume right here this girl right here she would take the top spot every single time like i i love it and like I would highly recommend it to people some people might not like it but like I can't even see someone not liking it like I'm telling you every single time I have it on my partner is like like <laughs> like smelling me deeply like inhaling all of this because this scent okay if you want to be edible this is your girl this is what you're looking for so that is it that is all i know my hair has been doing something crazy this entire video i need to wash my hair so bad but not right now i don't feel like it um <laughs> but that is it that is all with the scents i am just now sitting and like actually growing my collection because i had like a signature scent at one point but no i don't want a signature scent i want to smell like everything i want you every time you smell me you're just like you smell good and i don't know what it is okay and that's where i am with like my perfume collection so i have been growing it um this is what i've acquired over you know the past year past couple of months of like buying perfume and i really am enjoying my scents i do have a wish list currently so i do have stuff that i will be adding to the collection sooner and later and then there is stuff that like I don't have anymore like a uh, Gucci Premier used to be one of my favorite scents at one point ew <laughs> Gucci Premier used to be one of my favorite ew okay dog really anyway Gucci Premier was one of my favorite scents I think that was one of the first perfumes that my boyfriend bought if I'm not mistaken um I think that's one of the first scents that he bought me specifically that I had never smelled before and he just picked out and I used to love that scent. I cannot find it. Like, I don't think they sell it in store and you have to get it at like discounted retailers, but I prefer to get perfume at like Nordstrom, Sephora, Bloomingdale's, all sorts of stuff like that. So I just haven't been able to get my hands on it. I think I would like it just to put it back in the collection for nostalgia reasons because like perfume tells a story to me scents tell a story to me i am attached to scents because of memories and stuff that was happening at the time but there is stuff i'm gonna add there's stuff that's on the list i already have a list of you know things that i want and i want to know what you guys want to add to your collection if it's something that's in my collection something that's not in my collection maybe i want to check it out and i don't know about it yet excuse me, <laughs> let me know down below in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.